What's up guys, Garrett here from Code the Web, and today I'm gonna to give you guys nine resources that will help you when you guys are working on your own web-related projects. So first things first, the first one we got is if you need textures. Now I am fully aware that flat design is taking over, and it is the trend of the moment right now in terms of overall design aesthetics. However, it never hurts to incorporate textures into aspects of your design, and it never hurts to, one, have a resource to find these textures, and two, build a library for yourself of these textures. And this is Texture King. That will help you to do that. And there are a ton of textures here. As you can see, we've got all textures, a lot. Wood, if you want wood. And I've used this for projects that I've worked on before. And it's uh, a very, very useful resource to have in your back pocket. Next is Brush Easy. So if you're working on something for Photoshop, or if you're working on something in Photoshop, I, I should say, and you need some crazy design, and you're wondering how exactly you should go about getting it, or you're wondering how some graphic design artist did something, a lot of the time, it's not something that you'll be able to do unless you have a certain set of brushes. And that being said, this is a really, really awesome website to know about. Really, really great uh, resource. A ton, a ton of free brushes here that you can get. Uh, for example, this one's actually premium, which I conveniently clicked on. I don't know why I did that. But, uh, you know, there's just a ton, a ton of them here uh, from something cool and abstract like this to something you know just design wise like like animals or whatever so anyway uh just a really really awesome place that you can go to for your photoshop needs specifically brushes and, and they actually also have patterns and textures here as well so that is brush easy and remember i will have all of these resources uh links to them in the description this next one is called color and it's by adobe and what you can do is you can create your own color scheme and you can move this around like so and bring it in and you can do all types of cool things here, right? Like so. Uh, or what you can do is, like myself, this is predominantly what I do, is I just go and search what I want. So if I need something that's, let's say, clean, I just go and search clean and hopefully this won't take too long. There we go. And then it just gives me all of these things that, are the titles have to do with clean and there's a lot of really really good options here to choose from next is premium and free uh, Photoshop web elements um, different than the resource that we use to get all of our graphics for uh, for our, our uh, building a site from start to finish which by the way that video next is coming out tomorrow so do stay tuned for that but this is just awesome awesome uh, web elements that you can get and uh, bootstrap admin templates for example that's pretty pretty awesome that they that they give this and this is I think for free right uh, might be I'm not really sure here here we go some free runs right here so really really awesome templates right there next is this is the website that we did use to find those UI kits and this is an awesome one. I think most of these are free and they're all really, really good and high quality. So definitely check that out if you need to. Also, I think that can also be used if you're a developer and let's say you want to use for like an iPhone app or something. Uh, so that's good to know. This is for patterns and plugins for, or mostly patterns, I think, for uh, Photoshop. I think I actually have this one right here. Uh, this one too, this one. I have a bunch of these. So really, really good uh, site to know about. Next, okay, so this is not a site that you can download things, but it's just um, something that tells you about the psychology of color and what people associate certain colors with so that when you're designing something, you'll be able to know uh, what colors might be best for you to use. So I'll definitely link that in the description. This, all right, so this is really, really cool. So there's this guy and um, he, his name on here is somewhere, his name escapes me. Oh. Uh, Ryan McGuire, but so 
he takes these, these uh, pictures and he puts them up on it on this website and it's all free creative commons images and they're really really high quality and very very awesome looking pictures so if you need uh, some some images uh, really high quality and um, big like they're you know professionally taken of course this would be an awesome place to go for that so that's that and then this of course is the creative commons search that we actually used for our uh, for our web project and to get all those images so definitely check this out if you need even a wider variety than what you saw before uh, this is a really really cool place to go so my name is Garrett uh, thank you guys for watching I hope I really really hope that you guys are able to use some of these resources to your advantage and to help you in your web design adventures or even just your graphic design adventures in general uh, if you did get anything out of this video, if you found one of these resources useful, definitely subscribe because tomorrow we're going to have an awesome video coming out on the next installment of the build a website from start to scratch or from start to finish. Sorry. And then after that, we're just going to have all kinds of great, awesome videos for you guys to check out and learn from coming out after that. So definitely subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, that's, uh, that's all I can ask for. So take care and I will see you guys in the next video. That'd be tomorrow. Peace.